Hey, welcome back to Impossible. So, Leos, as you already know, I was doing Mortal Motivation live weekly, but now I'm treat, uh, <laughs> every day. But now I'm switching it up to a weekly motivation where I'm going to give you a Bible verse. I'm also going to give you the statement of the Bible verse in the description box. Now, for general readings, you can go to my other channel, Impossible 2.0. Okay? Yes, I think I'm going to be uploading a Leo video, video today on that channel. But this is going to be your oracle message for this week and what you need to pay attention to. So let's begin because this is going to be a short video. Okay? Asriel. Okay, so this is a passing over of someone. Somebody is in transition. Your loved ones are looking over you at this time. Pay attention to your dreams and downloads. Okay, some of you guys may be sick or your loved one may be sick. You, be, you may be concerned about that. All right, but it's coming back home, right? Finding yourself, grounding yourself. So this is a, this is this week. All right, 18. Some of you guys may be born on the 18th. Nine, you're on a spiritual journey, spiritual awakening. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio or yeah or have rising moon venus or your north node in scorpio but this is all about following your intuitions your instincts maintain the mysterious okay the willpower to keep going being successful rising above the bullshit a huge transformation that you're going through okay but there's a transition all right and your loved ones are looking over you at this time so pay attention to the downloads okay be careful with gossiping as well or people talking about you do not allow anybody to take you out of character all right some of you guys are going back to church staying prayed up has buried your loved one all right but there's a loved one trying to reach out to you at this time okay so signs and synchronicities if a song pop up in your mind listen to the song okay cats it's all about intuition but you're going through a transformation all right yes Asriel, angel of everlasting life aids transition so somebody had had a difficult time crossing over but they want to know that you're that they want you to know that they're okay all right but some of you guys loved ones are in transition at this time okay acceptance so the acceptance to move on so still releasing still healing at this time crossing over yes yeah. so somebody wants you to know that they successfully crossed over to the other side they had a difficulty they had a difficulty but they're crossed over Comforter, yeah, they're they're bringing you comfort. They try to bring you comfort to let you know that they're okay, that everything's okay. Okay, transform emotional pain. Yeah, so you're trying to release emotional pain at this time. Okay, but again, you're trying, you're going through a transformation and still releasing and healing. All right, so this week is about healing, transformation, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, and spiritual ascension. During transition, separation, and loss, I give comfort and support. I also help you contact loved ones who pass. Right. So this is about death. Okay. Yes. A diseased loved one of some sort. Calcite, a year or more, and no. Okay. So it may take you a year or more to heal. No. Whatever whatever it is that you're thinking of, like, you know, should I move or should I do this? Don't, every, don't do anything impulsive. Spirit is saying no. Wait for a sign. Okay. Yes. Let me get your affirmations. Yes. I am open to receiving unexpected opportunities. I am open to receiving unexpected opportunities. Some of you guys may be very nostalgic, especially around nighttime. Yeah, you just feel like there's obstacles on top of obstacles on top of obstacles. Spirit is advising, do not pay attention to the obstacles that are ahead. Embrace the opportunities that are coming in, unexpected opportunities. So I am open to receiving unexpected opportunities. So there's going to be miracles happening in your life where, they, where you feel like there's just one thing after the other after the other. A lot of stargazing here and a lot of nostalgia going on here with you okay yes but with the moon and the star there's a soulmate coming in as well you align it with your soul tribe okay yes let me get a money block for you so a money affirmation no opportunity but unexpected opportunity. So you feel like there's no opportunity for growth when it comes to your money, no type of expansion, no type of promotion. You're just at a standstill. But spirit, this is your affirmation for money. There are many possibilities. The universe is unlimited. I am open to receiving unexpected opportunities. I get money in many ways. So that is your affirmation. I get money in many ways. Okay, so whatever you put your mind to, but careful not to make hasty decisions. 
right? So no. So if somebody offer you anything, just be like, no. Think about it first before you respond or act upon it. Okay, so I get money in many ways. Okay? Yes. You may be stuck in traffic or you just feel like things are delayed and things are not picking up in your life or there's too much confusion around you. But no, things are about to lighten up, okay? Okay, it says, Madam. So some of you guys may have been Madams where you had, I'm just saying, <laughs> but Madam, okay? So your gifts. Your gifts as a madam, okay? <laughs> gifts enjoys self-employment. So some of you guys are self-employed or getting into entrepreneurship, okay? Yes. So enjoy self-employment entrepreneur. Some of you guys are already entrepreneurs. Is naturally beautiful and admired by others. So taking care of yourself, healing oneself, right? Beautifying oneself. Yes. Pampering yourself. Interested in natural and healthy lifestyle. Exercising again. Eat, eat and healthy. Drinking your water, right? collagen take your vitamins go into the gym okay but your challenges for this week toxic relationships can make them feel powerless so some of you guys are in a toxic toxic relationship toxic family toxic household toxic uh co-workers that you need to remove yourself from and you you know so that's your challenge self-esteem issues okay again beautifying oneself not allowing yourself to feel unvalued okay uh insecure no Get, get rid of that. That's your challenge. Envy and jealousy. So try not to be envious and jealousy of, jealous of other people. So working on that, right? Those are your challenges. Lesson, you learn to be thankful for what you have in life. So being grateful and thankful for what you do have in life, which is life itself, to continue to, go, to, continue to grow. Okay? Madam? <laughs> okay? Yes. So this is unisex. All right, so the, it just says madam, but it's unisex, okay? Yes, big pimps, big pimping. Let me start. <laughs> All right, uh, let me get one of these. Big pimping in NYC. <laughs> or wherever you from. <laughs> okay, family, yeah. This is family focus. So some of you guys, again, family members may be sick or your loved ones or a child of yours. Um, yes. But family. Focus on family. Okay? This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. Transition. Yes. So some of you guys may have suffered the loss of a family member, somebody that was very close to you. Which we can help you to understand and heal. Like I said, this is all about understanding and healing. But your loved one is safe and they crossed over. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with common blue light and many angels. Okay? Call on your angels. Blue is, is protection as well. Be open to shift within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So peace is going to be restored in your life. So stay prayed up at this, guys. Uh, at this time, guys. Okay? Yes. Seventy-one, seventy-one. You may be seeing repeating numbers or mirror numbers. Seventy-one, seventy-one, seventeen, seventeen, eight, eight. Infinite abundance. Okay, eight, eight is sixteen, which is seven. Your blessings are definitely coming in, but staying prayed up. Religious factors. Jesus. Okay, yes. You are on the right path. Do not give up. So spirit is saying you are on the right path. Do not give up. Okay, yes. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Be optimistic. Okay, but release and heal at this time. Release, release and heal. Chickens in the moment. All right, some of you guys may love chicken. All right. Yes, but in the moment, be it in the moment. So every day is a new day to start over. This is what Spirit is saying. And I do see Spirit is going to send the right people, your soul tribe, to help you heal along the way. But your loved one is close to you during this healing process. Okay, you possibly could feel their energy. But again, pay attention to your downloads. But be it in the moment. So yes, in the moment, 
Every day is a new day to start over. You, you're gonna. Every day is like an up and down roller coaster. You may cry. You may be happy one day, cry one day, sad one day, depressed. Okay, but in the moment, try not to stay stuck there, guys. That is a challenge, right? Yes. Try, try not to stay stuck there. Yes, I am enough. Self-reflection, introspection going on here with you. Cancer got this. So some of you guys may be um, a cusp, all right? Some of you guys may be dealing with a cancer or have rising moon venus, so you're not throwing a cancer, all right? But I am enough, okay? Yes. Looking deep within yourself and healing, healing. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come into my life. Exactly. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am. So don't ever think that you're not good enough. You are. Okay? You are. I forgot to get one of these for you. Personal development. See? You're growing. So you're going through a phase right now. Spiritual development, personal development. Okay? You're entering into a new cycle. Okay? So, but this is all about your personal development. So, what do you need to release at this time so you can keep growing? It's all about growing and ascending. Okay? So, you're continuing to, to release. Yes, improving health. Yes, so some of you guys, again, are concerned about your health or your loved one's health, but I do see an improvement of health. Some of you guys may work in the medical field or some of you guys need to go to the doctor, okay? But whatever whatever you, it is that you're battling at this time, release it to God, pray on it, and I do see your, your health improving. Eating right again, madame, eating right again, a healthier lifestyle, thinking more healthier, and building healthier relationships, okay? Yes, but improving health. All right? This is all about you. Okay? Yeah. Some of you guys may have had surgery as well. But let's see what comes out for you and what you need to focus on. I'm going to pull one more card. And that's that. Yes. Four cups. Okay? Again, healing. Not taking any offers. Okay? Saying no. Saying no. Not right now, all right? But taking time to yourself to reflect, okay? So Spirit wants you, uh, you to take time to yourself to reflect on what you need to release and heal, okay? Don't just take anything that's coming at you, okay? Justice in reverse, okay? Self-sabotage. So stop self-sabotaging yourself and feeling like things were your fault, why things didn't work out, it was injustice going on in your life, Okay, there's unfairness. No, release this. So whatever is happening in your life is according to your life plan. All right, so stop self-sabotaging yourself. Get out of your head. Okay, stop thinking negative of oneself that you're not good enough. Working on that. Okay, what else? One more. And King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, yes. So some of you guys may have a lack mentality. Some of you guys may be married or getting out of a marriage. Okay. Or just feel like things wasn't fair in a marriage or a situation. Or, yes, some of you guys may have lost your loved one or your spouse of some sort, your father or mother, okay? But whatever it is, it's you just have a lack mentality at this time. So Spirit wants you to work on this lack mentality. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. Stop saying, why why me? Why me? Why is this thing, these things happening to me? Okay, be careful with spending money this week. Uh, materialist, material, materialistic things, okay, yes, and um, being obsessed about money, okay, because money is going to come to you, all right, so stop worrying, stop overthinking, okay, yes, yeah, so this is what you need to focus on, some of you guys feel like you're not good enough, okay, or, you know, you're unemployed, you can't get that job, and it's just, like, too, too many things, 
but you're sabotaging yourself. So reprogram your mind, Leos. Okay? Yes. Why am I in this broken marriage and why is this person treating no? No, 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 no. Okay? Yes. Okay, so dance. When was the last time I danced freely? So dancing raises your vibration. Music raises your vibration. Some of you guys are choreographers and dancers out there. Okay? But Spirit is saying that whenever you're feeling down and out or you're too much in your head, put on some uplifting music and dance it out. Okay? Dance. Because it will shift you into a beautiful state. Because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart. Because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a change. You'll feel a charge of joy and confidence take over, and you will feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness, and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward fire grow within, and the feeling you feel being you. You are wild, loving. You're, you are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. Okay, guys? So when was the last time you danced? But that's all I have for you guys um, this week. All right? Uh, check out my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0, for your general readings. Okay, Leos? I love you guys. I'm Possible. You're Possible. You're Tosh. I'm out.